Hello, Saxons. Welcome to the last episode of Saxon TV for the first semester. I'm Eric. And I'm Kelsey. Last Thursday, the Pacific Northwest was affected by a major rainstorm. The storm brought over six inches of rain to Salem, which caused flooding issues in the region. Salem-Kaiser schools were closed on Friday, and all after-school activities were canceled. The town of Turner was evacuated to safety, and South Salem students helped out the community by filling sandbags and helping families block the water from their homes. Graduating seniors, if you or your parents would like to purchase space in the yearbook for a personal message and or senior ads, they will be on sale now through February 1st. For more information, see the online newsletter, yearbook staff, or Mrs. Aquino. Spring play auditions for the comedy You Can't Take It With You are February 7th and 8th from 2.45 to 5 p.m. in the Rose Auditorium. See Mrs. Gibbons for details. Everyone is welcome. Now let's head over to Aki to see what we have for this week's weather. Okay, this week we're going to be seeing some more rain. This puts the month's rainfall two inches above average. Um, other than that, it's not looking too bad. We've got highs in the high 40s and lows in the mid 30s. You can expect that pattern to continue throughout the rest of the month. Now for today's forecast. Okay, for today we've got a high of 45. Winds going to the southwest at 7 miles an hour. 65% uh, humidity and a 100% chance of rain. Back to you. Thanks, Aki. There's a new business that just opened in South Salem. Verizon Go Wireless Store next to Five Guys, located in the Vista Place Shopping Center. It opened at the beginning of December. Did you hear about that fat cat? Well, it was adopted. Colleen Sanders and Aaron Benacourt, a couple that was first in line at the Oregon Maine Society to adopt a 25-pound cat named Walter. The weather took a toll on sports last week. Let's take it to John and Travis of sports. Alright, thanks Kelsey. This week in sports, due to some flooding, there was no sports on Friday and school was canceled. So what happened this week uh, in, with the boys basketball this week, John? Well, in boys basketball, the Tuesday's games were canceled due to snow and were moved to Wednesday. The Saxons took on North in a well-fought match um, well matchup and lost it by three in the close game with a score ending in a 68-71 to defeat. The Saxons' second loss in the CVC play and dropped to a 2-1 and one in the conference plays and a 9-7 and seven on the regular season. Their next game will be tonight at West Salem. All right, and in girls' basketball, the girls, uh, they extend their winning streak to nine games as they beat North Salem on Wednesday with a score of 87-22. to 22. Wow. The girls have dominated their last three games against McKay, Sprague, and North, but will face West Salem tonight, who is ranked 10th in the OSA standings. This will be the, first, the Saxons' first big test this season in what looks to be a great game. So go out and support your Saxons tonight here at South. All right, so in the NFL now, Super Bowl 46 is coming up on February 5th, and the New England Patriots and New York Giants will be taking place in that, a rematch of Super Bowl 42. So uh, let's just talk a little bit about the AFC and the NFC games. We had New England and Baltimore. Um, so yeah, Baltimore, they had a pretty close game the whole time with a three-point, um, New England with a three-point lead, um, except um, the kicker for um, Baltimore shanked the ball. Yeah, I know. It was, it was, like, it was an incredible game leading up to that point. Uh, Joe Flacco was able to make a last-minute run in the fourth quarter to try to go back and tie the game after the uh, New England Patriots were up three in that fourth quarter and was able to get it to a 32-yard field goal for his Pro Bowl kicker. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the kicker failed to make the kick and shanked the ball about 30 yards to the right. It was just a horrific miss and a, probably a very disappointing end as the Ravens were looking to send that one into overtime and weren't probably even thinking about him missing the kick at the time. But nevertheless, in the uh, NFC matchup, the uh, San Diego, or not San Diego, San, San Francisco, Francisco 49ers <laughs> took on new, the New York Giants, who were red hot coming in. Uh, honestly, everyone was thinking, you know, 49ers might have the edge, but I, I knew it right away that the Giants, they were coming in hot. But nevertheless, it was a very close game. Uh, the turnovers, right? This, oh, the, the turnovers. turnovers it, were horrible. Two turnovers. In the, but from the 49ers and no turnovers for the Giants and those two turnovers one came in the fourth quarter and one came in the, uh, the overtime which led to the, 
the uh, Giants Loss. win. So uh, it was just uh, both games were actually one of the best NFC AFC games I've ever seen, like coming from back to back. But uh, anyway, the Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl's, oh, Pro Bowl's, Pro Bowl's coming, coming up. up on uh, next Sunday in Honolulu, Hawaii. But uh, that looks like it for this week's sports. So back to you guys. Took on new, the New York Giants, who were red hot coming in. Uh, honestly, everyone was thinking, you know, 49ers might have the edge, but I, I knew it right away that the Giants, they were coming in hot. But nonetheless, it was a very close game. Uh, the turnovers, right? Just oh, the, the turnovers. turnovers it, were horrible. Two turnovers. In the, but from the 49ers and no turnovers for the Giants and those two turnovers one came in the fourth quarter and one came in the, uh, the overtime which led to the the uh, Giants Loss. win so uh, it was just uh, both games were actually one of the best NFC AFC games I've ever seen like coming from back to back but uh, anyway the Pro Bowl Pro Bowl oh, Pro Bowl's, Pro Bowl's coming up, coming up on uh, next Sunday in Honolulu Hawaii but uh, that looks like it for this week's sports so back to you guys. Thanks, Travis. Are you tired of going to the grocery store just to return your cans and bottles? Well, there's a new way. Oregon Beverage Recycling Cooperative is opening a new building in the beginning of March to return your cans and bottles. It will be located in the former Joanne Fabric Building next to ITT Technical Institute. Go to the website for more information. Have you made losing weight a goal for the new year and haven't gotten anywhere? Stay tuned for helpful tips and information. We'll be back after these messages. Hi, I'm Dr. Carmine Padavona from Cambridge University in England, and I'm here in Chicago, the windy city of America, testing out InstaRange. This is Alan Wake. Alan has lived here all of his life, and he can use a little boost to keep up with the things that speed around here. Alan, I give you InstaRange. Range. It's banned in Sweden, remember? <laughs> Welcome back to Saxon TV. Is your New Year's resolution to lose weight? Stick to it and make it happen. You can start by just being active and replacing the little things in your life. Take the stairs instead of the elevator or just go out on a walk. You will feel re-energized and not as stressed and feel great. You may not think this will change anything, but by making small changes to your lifestyle, it will help you lose up to 10 pounds a year. Switch your white bread for whole wheat bread and white rice to brown rice. Try your hardest to, divide, to avoid those processed carbs. They spike insulin and make it harder to lose weight and easier to gain it. Marion County has started the Ready for the Future program. The program is intended to lower teen pregnancy rates here in Marion County. For more information or on the program, check out their website. It was a big year in entertainment last year. Let's, hear, let's go and see Lily and Jen's Culture Rush. Welcome to Jen and Lily's Culture Rush. I'm Lily. And I'm Jen. Today we're going to be talking about upcoming movies, the Katy Perry Russell Brand divorce, and the top 10 songs of 2011. To begin, what is there to see in the box offices next week? Well, a good chick flick and a date night movie would be New Year's Eve because I love the characters in it, and it's mm -hmm. a really cute ending and how they make it. Yeah, and they have a lot of famous people, too, like the whole cast. Like Ashton Kutcher. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and then in the horror genre, there is the movie Don't Go Into the Woods, which is just coming out. I think it's about a band that goes into the woods and <laughs> the events that unfold. And they shouldn't have gone in the woods. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, a good family movie would be War Horse, but... Is this another horse movie, you think, maybe? It looks just like another war movie. Like a sad one where, like, yeah. it ends up being victorious, but in the end it dies or something. <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah. like another kind of stereotypical one. Yeah. For comedy, the movie Carnage just came out, and it has Kate Winslet, who I love. Yeah. And it's about two adults, uh, two couples fighting over their son's issues in school. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Now, the Katy Perry-Russell Brand divorce... Oh my gosh. <laughs> who, do you, who do you like better, Katy Perry or Russell Brand? Katy Perry, definitely. She, I love how unique and she is and how she was raised with really good morals. And I beliefs. have to disagree. I think Russell Brand is my favorite. Really? 
Well, <laughs> you say that she was raised with all these morals, which is true. But Russell Brand had a very difficult childhood. He was like abused and went through all these different obstacles. Yeah. But he's still really, really successful today. That's true. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day he'll be able to get over that. But I mean, you, you saw how he mocked the marriage kind of by taking his ring off before they even broken up. I That's that was, true. That was kind of low blow for her, you know? Yeah. But he has a good sense of humor and he's British. That's true. Can't really beat that. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Okay. There were many top songs in 2011, but according to iTunes, the top 10 selling ones were number 10, Super Bass by Nicki Minaj. Number 9 is Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People. Number 8 was Moves Like Jagger by Maroon 5. E.T. by K Katy Perry featuring Kanye West. Number 6 was Give Me Everything by Pitbull. Number 5 is Forget You by CeeLo Green. 4 was Grenade by Bruno Mars. Number 3 is Firework by Katy Perry. Number 2, Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO. Yeah. And number 1 was Rolling in Deep by Adele. That kind of surprises me. You would think that LMFAO would have gotten the number, number one, one slot. Yeah. Um. Well, from pop star breakups to fighting war horses, <laughs> there's a lot to see in pop culture this next week. Hmm. Thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. That is all for this week on Saxon TV. We want to thank those who are involved in the semester's production. Have a great day, Saxon.